So Pinky's like, yo, Rarity, you want to have an expository conversation? And Rarity's like, dude, what do we got to say? We're on a train to Manhattan so I can scope out a location for my new boutique. And Pinky's like, yeah, okay, we're definitely going to do that. But can we also try to get my sister a boyfriend while we're there? And Rarity's like, am I in the opener of a sitcom? So they meet up with Maude and Rarity's like, yo, darling, what's been up? And Maude's like, Boulder and I have been trying to conceive. And Rarity's like, man, Maude, you're one humorous broad. I mean, how would that even? I put him in my vagina. And Pinky's like, talk about getting your rocks off, right? Am I right? Am I right? And so Rarity's like, dude. You were right. Your sister needs the D. And Pinky's like, word, just keep her occupied. I met this guy on kick who said he'd go out with her. So I just got to go meet him. It's totally legit. So Rarity decides to keep Maude occupied by asking about her um, relationship. And she's like, so Maude, how did you and Boulder get uh, involved? And Maude's like, by my mid 20s, I realized that my obsessive personality and bottomless pit of emotional baggage made it unlikely that I'd ever find a suitable partner unless I abandoned the one thing I was passionate about and spent my entire life searching for someone I might never find. I decided to marry myself to my career, and Boulder is a behavioral manifestation of the cognitive dissonance resulting from that choice. And he's like, oh, well. That's neat. And Maude's like, Actually, you remind me a lot of myself when I was younger, but with clothes instead of rocks. So how are things going with you? And Rarity's like, Oh, yeah, things are great. Uh, waiter, I'm gonna need a pitcher of gin over here. And Maude's like, You're not a very good conversationalist. So, Pinky meets up with this guy she talked to on MySpace or whatever you kids are using now. But she finds out that the selfies she's been taking with her party cannon all day have become a meme on the pony internet. And he won't let anyone touch his sack unless she forks over the cannon so he can make some videos with it and gaffle some of that sweet, sweet YouTube money. So when Pinky finally gets back, Rarity's like 12 shots deep and on the verge of an existential crisis. And obviously Pinky's hella depressed and she's like, hey guys, I hope you're having a better day than I am. And Rarity's like, oh god, I'm so alone. So Pinky pitches Mod this whole blind date thing and after privately assuring Boulder that she's just humoring her little sister, Maud agrees to go along with it. Then they actually find the guy and it takes Maud all of like five seconds to piece together what happens and she's just like, that belongs to my sister, give it back. And he's all, oh yeah, what you gonna do about it? And Maud's like, nothing, you're a sleazy street grifter with obvious hormonal deficiencies who cons people out of things that bring them joy amidst this nightmarish imprisonment and flesh we call existence. There's nothing I can do that would make your life worse, you absolute abortion of a person. And he's like, look, just take the fucking cannon back, Jesus Christ. And Maude's like, Pinky, it's really nice that you worry about me like this, but I'm happy with my life the way it is, even if it's a little unusual. Some of us are just okay with being alone forever, right, Rarity? And Rarity's like, I'm still young, why are you saying these things to me? Oh yeah, and she finds a location for a new boutique, which she'll be thinking about tonight when she's all by herself. So, they all agree it was a fantastic day and decide to make this a yearly thing. The end. I once knew a nigga whose real name was William His primary concern was making a million Being the illest hustler that the world ever seen He used to fuck movie stars and sniff coke in his dreams